Hello, student. Uh, welcome to this uh, session of arithmetic progression. This is actually a mathematics uh, lesson or chapter of 10th class. This, this uh, I have done uh, due to a demand by the 10 students. So, uh, it may be useful for some students who are studying 10th class in CVSC or ICSC. So the topic is arithmetic progression. So in mathematics, uh, an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first star. So this kind of progression or a series of numbers is called as the arithmetic progression. And this fixed number is called the common difference of the arithmetic progression. And this fixed number can be a positive number, a negative number, or a zero number. So this is called as the arithmetic progression. And uh, by looking at the examples below here, we can understand more about this uh, arithmetic progression. So look at this example. One, the series of numbers are like this, one comma, two comma, three comma, four, dash, dash, dash. And here, we have to determine the common difference. Common difference D is obtained by, by the difference of two consecutive numbers. The two consecutive numbers, for example, these are the two consecutive numbers, or you can take these as a, con a set of numbers or this. You can take any set of consecutive numbers and uh, the difference of those two numbers uh, should be same then only they form uh, an arithmetic uh, progression. So here I have determined the common difference of uh, these numbers. So two minus one, that means this term minus this term I have made. The second term is two, the first term is one. So difference is one. And also this is uh, the third term, this is the second term, difference is one. This is the fourth term, this is the third term, difference is one. So you can see here that the difference of two consecutive numbers or two successive numbers uh, is uh, same and hence uh, these numbers uh, uh, form an arithmetic uh, progression. In general, a1 comma a2 comma a3 dash 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 an is an ap is an arithmetic progression the condition is that uh, the common difference should be same so this is the common difference means uh, uh, the the difference of the first two consecutive numbers that is a2 minus a1 should be equal to next two numbers a3 minus a2 should be equal to a3 minus a4 and it should be equal to constant and that is called as a common difference denoted by d. So every term of an AP, that means the every term of an AP are generated or produced as a, a, a is the first term. To the first term, we are going on adding the common difference uh, continuously by doubling its uh, value. So the first term, the, the common difference is added to this, it becomes A plus T. Two times of the common difference gives the third term and three times of the common difference uh, added to the first term gives the fourth term in this way. So in this way, uh, we are uh, getting uh, the arithmetic uh, progression uh, terms uh, by adding uh, uh, the common difference uh, 
uh, continuously in increasing order. So there are two types of arithmetic progressions. One type is called as the finite arithmetic progression. So in this finite arithmetic progression, the number of terms will be finite. Means the limited number of terms will be there. So this is an example like 147, 148, 149, dash, 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 157 is a, a series of numbers. And here you can see 157 is the last number of this uh, uh, progression. And hence, uh, uh, this is called as uh, the finite or limited uh, arithmetic uh, progression. Another type of progression is there. It is called as the an uh, infinite AP, infinite arithmetic progression, where uh, we'll have infinite number of terms. For example, you can see here, so six comma, nine comma, 12 comma, 15 comma, dash, dash, dash. There is no end to this progression. And hence, uh, we can say that there can be an infinite number. Infinite means not countable, never ending. Infinite number of terms, uh, then it is called as uh, an infinite uh, EP, infinite arithmetic uh, progression. So here we will see the few more uh, uh, examples of this. It's another example for this AP. This is the arithmetic progression 3 by 2, comma 1 by 2, comma minus 1 by 2, comma minus 3 by 2, dash, 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 and so on. So write the first term A and the common difference D. So for this example, first, just we have to write the first difference and we have to determine the common difference. So the first term is this one and it should be always denoted as a A. So the first term is, is always denoted as a A and is 3 by 2. Right? This is the first term. So A is equal to 3 by 2. The common difference is the difference of two, cons two consecutive numbers. So D is equal to uh, A2 minus A1 we have to make. This is A1, A2, A3, A4 like that. So to determine the common difference, you, get U, U, you obtain A2 minus A1. So this is A2 minus A1. That means 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2. The difference of these two gives the minus 1. So D is equal to minus 1. So in this way, we determine the first term and the common difference for this uh, arithmetic uh, progression. Example 2, which of the following list of numbers form an AP? If they form an AP, write the next two numbers. So this is the task what you have to do. So three problems are there, three small problem, problems are there. There is a problem one, problem two, problem three. So you take one by one. First one I am taking, it is four comma 10 comma 16 comma 22 dash dash dash. And denote uh, these terms as A1, A2, A3, A4 dash dash dash. So to check that this is an arithmetic progression, always we have to determine uh, the common difference of uh, two consecutive numbers and it should be constant for all the pair of numbers. So checking for common difference, First, uh, D is equal to A2 minus E1 I am making. A2 is uh, 10, E1 is 4, so 10 minus 4 is 6. Similarly, we you can make A3 minus A2. A3 is 16, uh, A2 is 10, difference is 6. So A4 minus A3, A4 is 22, A3 is 16, difference is 6. So you can see here, that uh, the difference of two consecutive numbers remains a uh, constant and hence uh, these set of numbers uh, form an arithmetic uh, progression.
So d is equal to 6 is same for all set of terms. So hence, they form an AP. The next two terms are, means the terms after 22. So to this 22, we have to go on adding uh, 6 successively. So the 6 is a common difference here. So first I am making 22 plus 6 gives the 28 is the next term after 22. And to this 28, again, we have to add 6 uh, gives uh, another term 34. So after 22, we got uh, these two numbers, 26 and 34 as the next two numbers of uh, that particular uh, arithmetic progression. So this is the next problem. Second problem, the, the terms are like this, 1, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 3, minus 5, dash, 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 and take you and you take this as a a1, comma, a2, a3, a4, dash, 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 and uh, check for the common difference. So d is equal to, first you make a2 minus a1, a2 is minus 1, and a1 is 1, so minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 gives a minus 2. And next, uh, you make a 3 uh, minus a2. a3 minus a2. a3 is uh, minus 3. And minus uh, a2. a2 is uh, minus 1. So this comes as minus 3 minus of minus plus 1. So minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. And go for the next set of numbers. A4 minus A3. A4 is minus 5. Minus A3. A3 is minus 3. So minus 5 right as it is. And minus minus it becomes plus and plus 3. And minus 5 plus 3 is a minus 2. So you can see here that in all the successive differences, uh, difference of two numbers, the common difference is same. That is minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. And hence, they form an arithmetic progression. And uh, the next two terms are, so A5. A5 means it is A4 plus D. You have to make. A4 is minus 5. To this number, you have to add the common difference. Common difference is minus 2. So minus 5, minus 2 gives a minus 7. And similarly, obtain the A6 term. A6 is equal to A5 plus D. A5 is minus 7 as obtained now. And uh, D is minus 2. Minus 5, minus 2 is a minus 9. Therefore, the new form of EP is uh, like this. And uh, the terms were given up to here. And minus 7, minus 9 are the two terms what we have determined as a new terms. Okay. So the problem is over. Next problem, problem 3 is uh, like this. So in this problem, the terms are like this 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. So you know down. Better you note down the terms like this a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a7 dash like that. And go for the checking of D common difference. So common difference is equal to first you have to determine a2 minus a1. a2 is 1, a1 is a 1. So 1 comma minus 1 is 0. Next you make a3 minus a2. a3 is 1. And uh, A2, A2 is also 1. So 1 minus 1 gives a 0. Next uh, set of pairs, you make A3 minus A4. A4 is 2. We have written 2 minus A3. A3 is 1. So 2 minus 1 gives 1. So it is clear from this uh, uh, difference is that uh, the common difference is not same or constant for a set of two consecutive numbers 
of terms in the, of the, in this uh, series of numbers and uh, thus uh, uh, this series of numbers do not form do not form an arithmetic progression so in this way we i gave an introduction about uh, uh, what are these arithmetic progressions and what is the meaning of first term and what is the meaning of the common difference how to calculate it and in the next session i am going to solve this exercise 1.1 of this chapter completely okay so this is a very simple and easy chapter you can practice well in advance for your final exam thanks for listening